Hey everybody, it's Gina, and I am vlogging on day, I don't know what, I just mixed a new, um, a new 14 days worth of HCG this morning, and that's my last two weeks that I'll be on it, <clears throat> 15 days worth, I mean, so, um, so I took that this morning, and then when that runs out, then I'm done with this round. Um, not a real successful round, but not a failure, you know, I mean, I've lost, um, I mean, at one point, 16 or 17 pounds, something like that. And then I had that weight gain when I went out to eat and I appreciate all of your feedback on that. Maybe it was MSG. Maybe it was, um, maybe it was sodium. Um, I, I don't know if I'm about to start my period or not, but probably. So, I mean, there's a lot of things, but that was Saturday. Today is Thursday. And um, I gained, actually, I think about not, not quite six pounds, but five point something overnight. And like I'd said in the, the vlog before, all I had was, um, lettuce wraps and wonton soup. And, um, I really expected it to come off and it didn't, you know, like the next day or within two days or something. So I'm still releasing that weight that I gained. And I'd spent the last probably 30 days or so in the 140s and I've been in the 150s since Saturday. So I was 152.4 this morning. So I did have a release, but dang, you know, I mean, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So it's been a while and I'm only down like three pounds from that, that gain, that soup certainly wasn't that good. So I, I think there were other factors going on. There must've been, but I'm ready to see this weight go away. I'm hoping with the new batch that that will help. However, um, I started an antibiotic yesterday. So, you know, um, last year I vlogged about having bronchitis. I got it November the 9th. This year I've got it uh, November the 5th. And that's just what, what happens to me. Um, so I, yeah, I started the antibiotic. Um, there is a little bitty spider that just dropped down from my rearview mirror and it's tiny, but I'm going to have to kill it because, oh God, oh God, it just climbed up the mirror. Oh God, there it goes. Okay. Okay, dude, you're, oh shit. Sorry. Okay. Won't be deducting that receipt. I'll just leave it for my secretary to find. Just put it, put it in the bag with the receipts. I'm taking that to her later. Anyway. I don't like spiders and I don't like bugs and I don't like snakes and shit. <sighs> okay. So, um, so yeah, um, the antibiotic might stall me and, um, um, the only other thing I'm on for the bronchitis is a cough syrup. Um, and I thought I was taking something else. I don't know. Um, I guess not. She, I would have sworn she gave me two prescriptions, but I don't remember. Anyway, I'm hoping it doesn't interfere too much, but usually when I'm on an antibiotic, like when I have strep or something like that, it stalls me. But I did have a release yesterday or today and I started it yesterday. So, and I, I asked for the Z pack, so I'll only be on it for five days. So we'll see. Um, I'll probably have a little more, I keep looking for that spider. Um, I'll probably have a little bit more success with still releasing, even though I am on an antibiotic because of the gain that I had. Um, I really, really wanted to get to the lower one forties in this round. Um, and I take ownership that, you know, a big part of the reason why I think I didn't is because I kept having cheats, but like I talked about in a vlog a while back, I've had to really watch my serotonin and, um, I get depressed easily when I am nutritionally deprived and it's not about emotionally wanting to eat or missing the food. It's, it's purely chemical. And during round two, I, I got pretty severe. And then, um, this round I started feeling it quite a bit. So that's why I started incorporating a little bit of, um, cheats so that I would have slower losses, but that I would have, um, I was trying to find the balance of the serotonin because I mean, there were days that it was like gloomy out and drizzly out and I just felt this ache inside. Like with me, it's like that commercial depression hurts. It does like it physically hurts my body 
to be depressed. It's like a vice on my heart and I can feel it. And I don't always have an explanation for it. Sometimes there's a situational stressor that may have happened. And I can see that as the trigger, um, as the catalyst, but it certainly doesn't equate the depths of the emotion that I feel. So I know that the emotion is coming from somewhere else. It's just triggered by that. But it's that's one way you can always tell is, is this emotional response proportional to the situational stressor? So, I mean, you know, obviously if you are in college and you fail a test and you cry over that and you get upset over that, that would probably be reasonable. If um, somebody dies, it's very reasonable to, to be in the bed, not wanting to get out for days. Um, everybody grieves different, so that could go on depending on who it is and what happened. But if, if it's something more minor, you know, like somebody didn't call you back and you start imagining... Did I do something wrong? Are they mad at me? Um, maybe they just don't really like me. And you get to a point where you're actually crying over it. That's probably not rational. And so when I start to have thoughts like that, and it's not always do they like me or not, but it's just any kind of a rational thought, any kind of anxiety response, um, I have to really gauge that and determine, okay, that fucking spider is alive. It's all purse. Okay, I got it. See? See the spider? Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, you have to really determine if that's a rational thought or an irrational thought. And a lot of that is based on the emotional response. And ask yourself, would the general population be as upset over this as I am right now? Um... Because even if it's transference or it's um, projection, then that's your own personal stuff coming into play with a current real-life situation, but you probably have a disproportionate response to it if you have that. And transference being that, you know, if, if um, you get upset over something because, <clears throat> so you have mother issues. Sorry, my bronchitis is making my voice like this. But let's say that you have mother issues. And so you're real sensitive to people who are in a motherly role in your life. Um, and somebody like that disappoints you or hurts your feelings. You might have a disproportionate response to that because you're already transferring emotions based on your relationship with your mother onto that maternal figure. So this is the life of a therapist. I get to analyze myself all the time. But the good thing is that I can, I can oftentimes recognize when I'm overreacting. I can't stop the emotion. I can't necessarily stop how I feel, but I can understand it better and try to, um, try to intervene on my own behalf. So that's what I've been doing this round. And <clears throat> it certainly cost me probably about 15 pounds, 10 to 15 pounds worth of, um, weight that I did not release because I wanted to keep the levels up a little bit, the serotonin levels by eating a little bit more or cheating and having carbs like my milk, but, um, that's been better for me, honestly. So these next 14 days, 15 days, I'm going to really try hard to, um, to release as much as I can to not have any silly cheats and then to see, see what happens after that, because I want to go into the holidays at a weight that I have a little bit of wiggle room. You know, where I have five to six pounds without putting me in the 150s. So I would like to ideally get down to 143, something like that. But um, I don't know if that's realistic because I'm at 152 and I've got 15 days left. And we know how it is at the end of a round. You're not going to lose like you do the first two weeks. First two weeks, I usually lose 15. I did in this round. So anyway, my voice is giving out on me. I have to stop talking now. But... um. Thanks for listening. Thanks for the feedback. And um, I just really appreciate it. So, and Parker, if you watch this, is Mustard off protocol? Because I saw you say that and I, I didn't know. So just tell me that if you would. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.